You know, life can be stressful. It can be a real Chinese finger trap of a time. And, um, and one thing that 2020 taught us was that you have to have peace of mind. That you can't let the outside influence you constantly. You have to find your own peace. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy to use app. If you have not experienced meditation, it's basically like loitering inside of yourself real peacefully. Headspace's approach to mindfulness can reduce stress, improve sleep, boost focus, and increase your overall sense of well-being. Sometimes throughout my day when I've just done something that's taken a lot of energy or taken something out of me, I'll go find 10 minutes in Headspace myself. Headspace is backed by 25 published studies on its benefits. You deserve to feel happier, and Headspace is a meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash Theo. That's headspace.com slash Theo for a free one-month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now. Go to headspace.com slash Theo today and support the podcast. You know, today's episode, uh, man, we just taped it, and I'm, I'm still kind of... Um, just really hit me in the heart and, uh, and honestly, I don't even know why a little bit, you know, I don't even know why I feel, but it just, it filled me with a lot of feelings. Um, and I think it made me, it's making me feel, let me just try to think what I'm feeling right now. So just give me just a second. Um. It made me feel like I can be a, it made me feel like I can be a part of something better. Is that what it made me feel? It made me feel It made me feel like there is something bigger going on out there that I'm not in control of and that whatever that bigger thing is that it, um, it has good intentions. I think honestly, that's what, uh, what it made me feel. Um, you're going to love today's episode. Uh, today's guest is Chris Nickich. He is the first Down Syndrome uh, human ever to finish an Ironman marathon. He's here today gracing us with his presence. Him and his father, Nick Nickich, are here today. Uh, and I hope you will enjoy this episode. Uh, be patient. There's, um, you know, there's some communication that that takes some time to kind of build, but... Um, but this was uh, this was one of the best uh, hour or so amount of times I'd ever spent in my life, and I hope you'll enjoy it. People complain about everything. Yeah, but I'm telling them, look, you guys, you guys stop talking like that. Yeah. That's bull crap. Yeah, yeah. No excuses. Yeah, no. No excuses. You got to do this, you got to fight back. You got to work hard. You got to work hard. Mm-hmm. If you work hard, you succeed in life. Who taught you that? My dad. And your dad's here today? Yes. What's his name? Nick. Nick Nickich. Yes. Nick Nickich. Is he a role model? Yes. What's another role model that you have? Perseverance. Perseverance is a role model. Oh, interesting. Can <clears throat> when you're competing, do you feel like you're competing against yourself to make yourself better or do you feel like you're competing against the other competitors? What is it like for you to compete? In Iron Man, does it feel like you're competing against yourself or against other people? I'm competing against myself and other peers as well. Um, 
I was better than this day. I want to stay active. Um, to stay forward. To stay, keep going forward? Yeah. When you're, what is the toughest part when you're doing the Ironman? What is the toughest part? Like, was there a moment that you felt like you couldn't go anymore? Was there a moment that felt like maybe you wouldn't be able to do it? What were some tough moments like? Um, uh, my tough moments was the pain. The pain Sin, where? Where was the pain? Like the butt, the lower back. I had to sit upward. But uh, one of the people at the auto mechanic shop, they're making a new bike so I could lean forward. Oh, you got a new bike that helps you lean forward? Yeah. And does that make it easier to compete? Yeah. When you were doing the Ironman, was there a certain mile where you wanted to give up maybe? So at some point, I was at mile 13 when I hit the wall. At mile 13? Yeah. Wow, that's early in the race, right? No, that's yeah. in the marathon. Oh, that's in the marathon, marathon. only. Uh, and I knew that the pain's coming. The pain's coming. I knew that my dad come and hugged me. He came and hugged you? Yeah. And what did he say? He said, let's go to win the pain of the dream. And I said, between. And then you just kept going. And I fought my way through. When you're competing, do you know that you have, do you know that you have a disability or do you, can, do you, does it feel on the inside like you have a disability or it doesn't feel like it? Uh, I have a disability. It's called um, Down Syndrome, Genetic Disorder, where I was born. Does it feel like you have it or or does it feel different inside of you or does it feel normal inside of you? Um, I have it now. It feels that I need someone to kiss my heart and that could be my woman. <laughs> oh, you need someone to touch your heart, huh? Yeah. That might cure it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. To restore my soul. Yeah. <laughs> Um, have you had, uh, have you been in love in your life? Once. Um, when I crashed my bike, I saw, I saw her. I saw a smoking hot. A smoking hot person? A smoking yeah. hot woman? She came and helped you? She did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, are you buying this one? Are you not buying this song? No, I'm not buying it. <laughs> You're just making stuff up. <laughs> I remember. I'll tell you my story for. I'll tell you a story for me, Chris. I remember Chris kicked his dad just now. I'll tell you a story for me, Chris. When I was young, I remember I was maybe like seven years old, and I was in Texas, and I went outside, and there was a girl by a stream, and she was getting like um, she was just getting like a bucket of water out of the river or stream. And that was the first time in my life I ever felt like I was in love with a girl. I just remembered I never had felt that before. And then I saw her and something about her made me think that I loved her and I felt like, oh, I'm in love with her. Did you, do you remember the first time you had a moment like that where you felt like attracted to a woman like that? Yeah. Um, I was at uh, the magic game. With my dad. The Orlando Magic game? Yeah. Mm hmm And I saw a pretty dancer. Yeah. And uh, she's in my photos. And, uh, and she was uh, attractive. Mm -hmm. She was uh, smoking hot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cute. Um... Uh, I would definitely say she's the most absolute best fort woman. Oh, so she really took your heart away, huh? She really took my heart. 
Yeah. What did you ask her? I decided to afford with me. Yeah. And what did you ask her? And I froze back. Yeah, baby boy. You actually asked her something, didn't you? And what on? I said, want to go on a date? Nice. And her response was like, sure. And then, and then for a moment, I looked in the eyes of a beautiful woman. Stay right there. Yeah. And from there, I said, will you marry me? Oh, wow. You went straight to marriage, huh? Yeah. Strong move. And <laughs> uh, what did she say? She's like, sure. <laughs> wow, right there at the, then, at the magic game. Right there, when I got home that night, mm -hmm. I said to my mom, Mom, I found a woman. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, she must have, um, she's quite older. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care her age. I don't care how old she is. And I said, Ma, I asked her on a date. And she's like, for real? I'm like, I'm dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, what makes you want to make a move on this woman? Good question. And then I said, Mom, I've got no choice, <laughs> but take my woman now. <laughs> and then right there I said, Mom, I actually made me. And then my mom said, uh, where did she come from? I'm like, a family. <laughs> a family. And then her family told her that when I confront her father, her father gave me a present to make his daughter. Her father what? I wanted to get a present. Oh, a present. Blessing. Blessing. Oh, you had to get the blessing from the father. From her father, so I could marry his daughter. So did you do it? Yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> now you're making stuff up. Everything was true up till that point. I know. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, <laughs> the mom noticed me. And she said, Are you the man who's about to marry my daughter? Who's a freaking magic dancer? Okay, now I'm let's like, stop because yeah. now you're making stuff up. So he's going to cut this out. But no. it was a good story, though. It was a good, he'll tell you a story. <laughs> so that was the first woman that you felt like you really fell for, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I've tell been him there. What you, tell him what you said when you saw Rachel on Instagram. I'm going to tell her that. Tell him. He wants to know that stuff. Oh, okay. So you saw Rachel on Instagram. What did you say to me? I saw Rachel. And who is Rachel? A girl? Yeah. Okay. She, uh, she lives in Tampa. Oh, nice. She's the Miss Runners Florida Up. She's what? Miss Runners Up. Runner Up Miss Florida. Oh, she's Miss Runner Up Miss Florida. Wow, yeah. beautiful. And what did you say when you saw her? I said, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. But I figured she's got autism, which makes it difficult. She has autism, so it makes things difficult? Yeah. Is she and able to communicate? She is. Oh, she's amazing. She sounds really cool. Yeah, but she's a smoking hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But she doesn't understand the true meaning of love. That's because she has autism, so she's you got to teach her how to get more... Social? Social. Social. Well, I bet she... I, uh, uh, do you guys have plans to maybe go out sometime? Not that I don't know of. Not that you know of? Well, you guys get together all the time. We always get together. Do stuff. She was at your house we, uh, for two days this week. She's in my house. Okay, so there's definitely a possibility there. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Does she do start time? Okay. Oh, <laughs> you got to give her time. What is, what's harder for you to compete with, 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 to compete physically or to compete with women, trying to meet women. What's a tougher obstacle in the world, you think? I would say I compete against women. <laughs> it's hard, huh? You know, it's not hard, but 
is called easy, simple favor. If a woman who enters into my world, she must be the one. Oh, I love it. I like your attitude. I'm the same way. If I see a woman, I fall in love with her. And when I do see a woman, she must be smoking hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a, good, that's a good attribute, man. I like it. And when I crashed the bike, I knew that the smoking hot one would directly come to me. Oh, I see. It's almost like a, a story out of like a Aesop's Fable or something. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. She pulled her sword out. She pulled a sword out? Sore. Sore? What? What? Pulled one out? She poured out her, her soul. Sore. Oh, she, she poured, poured her soul out. poured out her soul on you. Got ah. it. Yeah, there's some... In her mind. I think we all... I think as men, we all have that. Like, it's hard with women. It's hard. But it's not for me. Oh, okay. My bad, man. My bad. Because I'm keeping asking multiple women to be my date. Hey, look, and if and what did Dad say whenever you were having trouble at that uh, at the halfway point of the marathon? What was the options? The fake pain or the dream? The basically said the dream. It's the dream, baby. And he said, "Okay, it's time to get the wife." Yeah, that's the next obstacle, huh? Yeah, I love that. But you must feel pretty confident in yourself if you're able to 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 take on an Iron Man and finish. And then if you have the next obstacle in your life, maybe is to meet a woman and, and settle down, I bet you feel very confident, do you? Yeah. Um, in my 20 years of my life, I knew that the next Iron Man, if I do the next Iron Man, if I come in on time, then I better finish now to go be a smoking hot one. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> and in that instance, I'm going to grab my mayo and then basically my stuff could be at her hotel. Oh, I, can, I see. And so then my woman could take me back to the hotel. I like it. You got a whole plan. Basically, sour, mm -hmm. safe, mm -hmm. good dress, and then basically, like, there's no way any woman would put on the way on me. But I would definitely put my own underwear on. But I have to put on my pants and then the belt. Then she's going to help me with the dress shirt. Oh, she's going to help you with your dress shirt? Yeah. Oh, that's romantic. Yeah. I like that's because he can't do his own buttons. Oh, you can't do your own buttons? Nope. No. Wow. Doesn't have the fine motor skills. But you can do an Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah. But he can't tie his own shoes. Good thing they don't have any buttons on the Iron Man. <laughs> oh, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I put on a dress shirt. She buttons it. She puts her tie on. She puts her jacket on. Mm -hmm. And then she might say, Ben, where are you going off? Honey. Where are you going, honey? Where And where are you guys going to go? And then we might go to a nightclub. To a nightclub? Yeah. Okay, I like that. And then all the family, the coaches, the peers will be at the nightclub. Oh, I love this. By the time I arrive. Yeah. And then when I arrive, the doors could be closed. Mm -hmm. The nights are off. And when... And we're going to have air poppers, balloons. Yeah. I'll probably DK. Yeah. We're going to have, like, drinks. We're going to have campaign. Yeah. Scars, whiskey. Appetizers. Wine. Beer. Snacks. Appetizers. Yes. Dinner. Yes. Dancing. Yes. One of the dance floor. Yeah. 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve a table only for two. Ooh. So no one will distract me. Yeah. <laughs> and so your dad won't be at that table, will I he? I know. He <laughs> will not be at the table with me because he's going to be with my mom. Yeah. He's going to be with your mom and you're going to be with your lady. <laughs> yeah. So all day. This is a fairy tale. I love it, though. And you can make. I, I believe you can make it happen. Do you? Yeah. I love that. I love your confidence. If you sell stuff online, if you're a salesman, a person that sells, you know, a seller, sales, seller, selling. If you've ever lived in a cellar or lived underground, if you lived in a bunker, if you have ever uh, worked with um, time capsuling, then, uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is ship station. If you need to, if, you, if you're trying to sell something, you're selling things online, and you you you're going to PayPal and you're printing off the different things and you're losing your mind. You're yelling at your mother. She's doing it for you, and you don't even know if it's your real mother. Then that's the problem. The solution is ShipStation. No matter where you're selling Amazon, Etsy, or your own website, ShipStation brings all your orders into one simple interface. The world of Mark of selling is online now. You can't even go anywhere because people dang you know curse you out for unmasking. There's a good reason ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. If you're using USPS, FedEx, UPS, they can handle it all. Get 2021 off to a great start and support the podcast by visiting ShipStation.com. Just use my offer code T-H-E-O to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months of free trialing. My God. That's two months of no-hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in T-H-E-O. That's ShipStation.com. Enter offer code THEO. ShipStation. Make ship happen. Today's episode is brought to you by Magic Mind. It is the anti-procrastination sipper. Flow State now comes in a bottle. Check it out. It's a good coffee alternative. MagicMind.co. Use promo code Theo for 10% off. Is your body right? Is your dick right? Those are questions men ask themselves and have since the beginning of time. If you look on cave walls, Indian walls, they got people in there drawing decent wieners. And that's what I'm telling you about. BlueChew.com offers men a performance enhancement for the bedroom or cave or wherever you make love. The chewables from Blue Chew can be taken on a full or empty stomach. Have you a sandwich? Have you one of them wiener uppers and get at it? No in-person doctor visit, no awkward conversation, no waiting in line at a pharmacy. Ships directly to your door. It's that discreet dick help. That's right. Here's a great deal for you guys. Visit bluechew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code Theo. Let me help. Lift you, lift that low nugget, baby, that wiener. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W dot com, promo code Theo. You know, Terrence Ross plays for the Orlando Magic. Yeah. He does, right? Mm Mm-hmm. He's a friend of mine. Oh. So next time you go to a game, we will have to have him come over and tell you hello. All right. He's a really special guy. Um... Who are some athletes that you look up to? I look up to Inti Kumpo. Who is it? Inti Kumpo. I'm not Giannis, familiar. MVP last year. Uh-uh. From uh, Milwaukee. Oh, and t- how do you say his name again? Inti Kumpo. Inti Kumpo. Yeah, I never knew how to pronounce it. I've yeah. seen it written. Giannis it's a hard Inti name. Kumpo. Yeah, he's exceptional. But and, and who's better than him? Who's the boy from Dallas that's your favorite? Luka Doncic. Yeah, Luka Doncic is dope. And every time Luka Doncic crisscrosses E.T. Campo, E.T. Yeah. Campo gets tangled and gets kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him what you want to do with Luka. I want to beat him. Yeah. I have a massive hobby. I love that. I, I Look, I'll be a cheerleader. If you beat him, I'll be the cheerleader. Nope. <laughs> It must be a woman. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and that woman is going to be smoking hot. Yeah, of course she is, man. And when I do beat you because dog this, then I take my woman. But if he beats me, I'm going to stay to my woman now. Okay, I love it, man. Wow, you really, you're such a, uh, 
do you know how your parents met each other? Like their first date? Yeah. 34 years. 34 years. from uh, Minnesota. And they met in Minnesota? Yeah. What was your what was the first date that your dad took your mom on? Do you know? Yeah. Um he took my mom by the hand and he said, Because you made her the way that I left my woman. On a first date, Nick, is that true? So I, true. I met my wife in a nightclub in Minnesota. Ah yeah, right there. On a Saturday night. We talked a little bit. I went home. Next day I called her from New York. That's where I lived. And she told me she was going to marry me. Wow. So I see where this fairy tale really hits <laughs> yeah. close to home. Yeah. Like, I need my wife right now, my way. You ready? I am. You think so? Yeah. I'm freaking ready. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be 22 next year. <laughs> I'm going to say this. Dad, did you mess with my knife? <laughs> I'm going to get a woman. You stop it. <laughs> yeah. And when I get my woman, I'm going to sit my ground. I'm going to say, you're gonna stop messing my knife. You're going to tell dad to step aside, huh? Yeah, step aside. <laughs> stop hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> no attention. Um, do you, what are some things in your life that are tough? What are some things about the disability you have that are tough that people wouldn't know are tough? They could know what I'm capable of. Ah. Um, Besides, I couldn't do much, but I told them, you need to stop telling me what I can't do. And then I told them to effectively take the lid off. Take the what off? Lid. Take the lid off. And you need to stop treating kids with their disabilities. Wow. If they want to succeed in life, then I can do it. Yes, if they're ready to work hard, I can work hard too. Wow, that's so amazing to hear. Um, a lot of people with disabilities don't have the same mindset as you. I Do you think people don't give them an opportunity? Do you think people look at you and think you can't do it? Well, okay, so people think I can do it, but I say to them, look, here are the basic reasons. The first reason is, if they can do it, I can do it. If they're willing to work hard, I can work hard. If they succeed, I can succeed. I can be a better father, better husband, with a wife. I love it. What are so? What are some things that, like you mentioned earlier, like buttons are hard to do, right? Yeah. What are some regular tasks that are tough for you? Obviously, you're an Iron Man champion, so you can do anything in the world. I believe that, and so do you. But what are some basic little tasks that might be tough? Okay. So, for instance, after my wife buys African. So basically, like, tie my shoes. Okay, so tying your shoes is tough? Yeah. So let's talk about other stuff, but he, he wants to know what is unique about Down syndrome that makes everything hard for you. What are Give him three or four things that make Down syndrome hard. I would definitely say poor balance. Poor balance. Oh, poor balance. Yeah. Interesting. Why? Why do you think? Can you... Do you know why poor balance? Because we don't know why, right? Uh, but tell them, tell them like you know how hard it is to learn how to ride a bike. How long did it take you to learn how to it ride? It took a bike? me six years. Wow, of my freaking life. <laughs> <laughs> what else is hard about Down syndrome? Uh, <laughs> so I got no tone. Low tone. Low tone when you talk? No, yeah. low tone muscles. muscles. Oh, really? So what do you have to do to build muscles? I didn't get strong. How much harder do you have to work to build the same five muscles as him? Five to ten times. Five to ten times harder. No way. Just to build the same muscles Freaking as you. Freaking hell yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what else is hard for Down syndrome? Um, delayed reaction. Delayed reaction. When I crash my bike, I see smoking hot. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
So reaction time is slow. Okay. So when you're riding your bike? You need quick reactions quick on a reaction. bike. Quick reaction. So it took a long time to learn how to react fast enough. Like when you're, right now he can ride 28 miles an hour. You got to have fast reactions to when stuff pops up in front of you. That wow. took a long time to learn how to do. Wow. <clears throat> and did you do it, did you learn by actually riding a bike or did you take a simulator? <clears throat> no, actually riding. Actually riding. Mm. Thousands of times around the neighborhood. Thousands. Thousands and thousands. One time, I was riding in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. and there's a, there's a car that was driving, mm -hmm. and I was freaking fast. You were faster than the car? No, he was going fast. The car was coming. Mm -hmm. So, the car was coming, <laughs> and then... Basically, I was on the side, and the car came. And when I saw the car, I knew I had to react fast. And I started speeding down the whole entire freaking neighborhood. <laughs> I passed the freaking sign limit. And what happened? And I passed the freaking car. And then? And the freaking car blew a horn. And the person was like, what the hell? <laughs> Is that when you crashed? And when I got to the other side, I saw that smoking hot blonde. Yeah. Distracted. Yeah, she, she distracted you. I crashed you. my bike. Yeah. <laughs> you crashed your bike? And when I crashed my bike, she heard their boom on the street. Oh, they ruined that. I mean, Why? Yeah, they ruined everything, man. It just ruined everything. Yeah. But there she fine. She's beautiful though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Smoking hot. Yeah. She flirts with a biker who fell. I I fall her back. I, I can relate, man. I think about I always think about girls. Girls make girls are influ girls influence a lot of my behaviors. I think most guys are that way. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> um, but not me. Oh, not you, huh? No, I'm a, I'm a humor. I've got a, I've got great taste mm -hmm. of humor. That's true. And uh, I'm a lover. Um, I'm a servant of God, who is doing something to women. I like that. And smoking hot days. Yeah. They nearly come up to me one by one. And they would say, Chris, walk with me. I like that. I like that, man. <laughs> I like that. You're just like me, man. I think you, yeah. you and I are very similar. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, when I was born, they thought I had Down syndrome when I was born. And so I can really relate to, uh, I don't know, I, I think I just feel a... Sometimes I feel almost trapped inside of myself, and I don't know if that's what your life is like, but sometimes I feel like, I, I don't know, I just feel like trapped inside of myself. Um, what are, now that you've completed an Ironman, is there a new goal, or is it, will you com continue to compete in Ironman, or do you want to do professional bowling? Is there something new? I want to be a professional golfer. Really? And I get married. I would get the freaking married. Oh, yeah. Golfers always get married. They always yeah. have chicks. Yeah, he just started his golf program. Really? Goal three years from now to be a par golfer. Wow. And how does how is golf different in competing than Ironman and triathlon? Because Ironman is harder, and I don't take a risk of getting injured. I would stick to golf. It made my woman. Is golf easier? Yeah. <laughs> golf is easy because when I get a fighting tournaments, I've got to take my woman. She'll be right there. Yeah. She could be your caddy. A caddy, a wife. And wife. And a mother. And a mother. Yeah, there's just some... Look, if I could find a woman that could be all three of those, I want that woman too. And whenever I make a good shot, she kisses me. Oh, I like that. <laughs> And when I make a longest putt, mm -hmm. 
and when it goes in for a boy, she kisses me. Oh, I like that. She sounds like a nice lady, whoever she is. This girl says she was nice. Yes. <laughs> I would pour it out. She's quite smoking hot. She's smoking hot, baby. I said smoking hot. <laughs> smells nasty. Yeah. Whenever I behave dark inside, smoking hot kisses me. Yeah, I love that. That's her nickname, smoking hot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I like so that. So now on, I would say, am I smoking hot? Am I smoking hot woman? No <laughs> one knows. I'm going to make you smoking hot. Yeah. Now, if you get married, where would you have uh, the... the um, What's the dinner called before a marriage, Nick? The night before, what is that? Or the, the rehearsal dinner? Yeah, where would you have the your rehearsal, rehearsal dinner? What would be a restaurant you would have it at? I would definitely have it in Hawaii. Ooh, Hawaii New New, where it is pretty fancy. Yeah, it's nice. Pretty fancy for a smoking hot woman. Oh yeah, who could be fair enough with? Yeah, Hawaii is a good place to fall in love. Yeah. <clears throat> What does love feel like to you? Can you do you have like when you think about love, what does it feel like? Love feels like hard woman, kind, loving, a person who cares for me, a person who loves me, the way I love my mom, a person who um, wants me to be a better husband, a person who wants me to be a better father. Um, look, when I have my own woman, then my woman could say, honey, how can we stop doing what we're doing and we make out? Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and I would say, Wifey, <laughs> when you call, when you call make out, does make out rhymes with sex? Chris, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. Hey, it's normal, man. Don't go there. I it's know it normal. Is. I know. Hormones, baby. Yeah. Hormones, baby. <laughs> Hormones, man. They're wild. Um, what does it feel like when you are about to start a race, when you are about to start the Ironman, do you feel at peace or do you feel aggression? What do you feel like if you're at a starting line? How do you feel? I feel like I'm in Korea. I feel like I'm a part of the family. What is it? I'm sorry. Can you pa say it included, again for me? Included in part of the family. Oh, wow. I am a... Uh, I'm in Korea and be part of the family. That's what you feel like at the starting line? Yeah. Wow, so there's a big sense of inclusion for him in being in those races. That's wow. number one out of everything is the inclusion. Number one out of everything. They, those people there feel like your brothers and sisters, huh? They are. And when you're, tr when you're going through the Ironman, do you ever have to help people up that have fallen? I have. And what does that feel like? So, when a person who falls down, I got back there. I pick them up and say, keep going. You're almost there. You're almost an Iron Man. That's and you keep going. And when they do keep going, they're looking down where I mean. Saying, whether if it's up or down, to my hero. If it's up and down, to the spider. Um, I just got a book deal. I got a shoe deal. I got the one record. And best of all, I've been living a happy Healthy place. I like your attitude, man. It's so goal oriented. Um, do you do you feel tired? Like when I feel tired, I feel like kind of weak, and I feel exhausted, and I feel thirsty, and I feel like I need a break. 
Those are things that I feel like when I feel tired. What do you feel like when you feel tired? So, when I feel tired, I quit. Uh, when I'm exhausted, I can say, suck it up, finish it. Yeah. Um, this is a, I have a question for your dad. Can I ask your dad a question? <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, Nick, so do you, uh, is it hard to know when to push Chris and motivate him and know when to, is it hard to know what his capabilities truly are? Is it hard to know when he, he's being earnest about if he's had, if he's ex too tired or not? Like I could imagine that might be tough to kind of know. Is, has that been interesting to learn? Great question because he has learned how to manipulate all of us. Mm, my he, man. He, yeah. has, <laughs> he has learned when, when he wants something, how to actually put on an act. And so at first, when he hit that wall, I would think, oh, he's done. But then I started to test him a little bit. And I realized that that was an act and that he could keep going. And so it was a learning experience. Mm. Um, and I've learned how to help him mentally overcome a lot of what's going on in order to help him build a strong mental attitude that helps him fight through. Because um, as you can imagine, everything I've been told, Iron Man is 90% mental. The body can handle so much more than the mind can handle. So a lot of the training was mental. It mm. was teaching him how to overcome that mental pain that hits you. Um, and so for him, tired is pain. And so um, I had to learn how to figure out when that was real, when it was, and how to deal with it. And it's been a fascinating journey the last year, uh, teaching him mental toughness. Um, he is as mentally tough as anybody you're ever going to meet now. Wow. Uh, what he had to go through to do that Ironman, um, you know, he essentially went from a 14 mile sprint, which is, you know, what a lot of people start out with, to a 140 mile Ironman in about 10 months, which wow. is unbelievable. And he did it with all kinds of obstacles, uh, including that he can't ride arrow right, which is in a downward position, which is about 30% more efficient than the oh. average person. He can't ride with clip-ons on his feet. He has to no. ride with flat, which is another 30%. Um, and then he crashed his bike in the middle of the race, so he had to like stand up with the blood and the, and the pain. He got bit by fire ants, and so he his oh. legs were all swollen up throughout the whole thing. All of that is about mental toughness. Physically, he was beat up and bruised and everything and when he wanted to quit at every stage he just got tougher and tougher and at mile 13 as he said when every bone in his body every muscle ached everything told him to quit um, he just toughened up and mentally the whole year was about teaching him mentally how to overcome those obstacles and now I know that he can handle anything in life because mentally doesn't matter what hits him he's not never gonna quit he knows how to fight through it was he always like that, or it's definitely no. you've noticed something that was learned? No, it's something that's been learned in the last year. Wow. He was never like that. It's been, and that's the good news, right? It, it, for anybody, is that you can learn mental toughness. He learned mental toughness in the last year. You must be so proud of him, huh? I, I think he's amazing. Every day he just surprises me by how tough he is, how resilient he is, um, how much he learns, you know, and what a great attitude he has uh, in terms of what he does. And what I've noticed, the greatest thing of all is the impact he's having on other people. Love you, baby. Yeah, me too, He's changing man. lives, man. He's, he's showing people like me and my wife, who were devastated when he was first diagnosed with Down syndrome. Um, for 20 years, we thought he couldn't do anything. Now, what he's showing the world is that there's a whole world of possibilities out there. So yeah, I'm proud of him, but but I'm just so excited about the the mission he has um, to make a difference in the world and to help others like him and like us. Well, I said one more thing. It was right there. Which one, Sweepy? When I was on the bike. When you were on the bike? Oh, they were everywhere. They came to see you because they had kids with Down syndrome and they wanted to see it. Wow. Um. And people came from everywhere. Did they? With their kids with Down syndrome, and they wanted to see if this was real. Do you feel like uh, 
you know, I noticed it even just in my own life, like, um, you know, like I had to work so hard and even just in comedy to get uh, a foothold of my own, you know, and um, then at certain points you feel like God has, he wants you to be a part of a mission or, you know, like, and it's natural, I think, to have those, th- those thoughts. It's normal because you're like, why has so much been, and it's not a ton, but why have I been focused on? Why is you know, the light of the world or whatever, or a journey of the world been kind of like attached to me in some way. Um, I can only imagine that, that a lot of that kind of happens with, uh, with Chris. Uh, Chris, do you feel like God has a special plan for you? Yeah. That's pretty he, cool, huh? Um, yeah, pray on to make sure that I need to get the woman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, th- I think that's going to happen easy. Like, so, Chris, what's the new pack? I know. So, what about all of those social media posts from all the moms and dads with kids with Down syndrome that you read all the time? What are they saying? Those moms with Down syndrome, they're saying, I'm the hero. Two kids, and never can change that. Does that make you, how does that make you feel? It feels uh, like I'm inspired and ready to work harder, five to ten times harder. That's interesting, man. Yeah, you're definitely an inspiration. Um, yeah, I can't imagine what it's like to feel like you're then like kind of part of this bigger journey, this bigger picture journey of inspiring people. Well, I'll tell you, we, you know, we believe that God has his hand in this one for Chris, uh, and he's using Chris as a way to give hope to a lot of others like him and create a community of inclusion. And one, because what Chris is doing is not just for Down syndrome, he's actually creating a whole community around him who are, people are volunteering and helping, and they're seeing how wonderful it is to be part of a community like that. Um, and I tell people, um, if you don't believe that God had his hand on this one, uh, let me tell you a story. You know, before November 7th in 2020, every full Iron Man in the world was canceled. Right, buddy? After November 7th, every one was canceled. But November 7th, when Chris was doing it, it was the only one that was on. Really? The only one in the world. And you guys had already booked that in advance. We booked it a year in advance. And we told everybody, God's not going to let this one get canceled. Wow. And people said, you're crazy. They're all canceled. They're all being canceled. I said, yes, except this one. God wants Chris to do something special in this one. So he's going to make sure this one doesn't get canceled. And it didn't get canceled, and Chris shocked the world. And so so the only one Chris was registered for is the only one that happened. Wow. Oh, that's powerful. And then everybody told us he's not going to handle the water because the waves are, in, are so big and wild. I said, don't worry. God's going to calm the water that day. And then he said, well, you know, he's going to this. I said, don't worry. God's going to take care of it. And were you, you know? scared, Chris? Were you scared or not? Um, at first, um, I knew that the copy, but uh, kept going. Yeah. And how close is your dad? When you're actually racing, do you have someone that, like, are racers allowed to have a assistant with them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For, for Special Olympics, there's a guide, someone who's with him the whole time. Okay. So he had a guide, Dan Grebe, who's been an angel sent to us to help him through this. Right. And Dan was, like, the perfect person brought into his life. And then, you know, he had Carlos, um, who's also um, helped him. Carlos is a – Dan's a business person in Orlando. Carlos is a federal judge. Wow. Jennifer is an executive at Disney. These are all people who came around him who got brought to him who are the perfect personality, the perfect people the perfect backgrounds to guide him through this journey uh, and to help him do something something big. So God had his hand in this the whole time. You know all that time that you've been spending looking for things, you've been maybe looking for that, you lost a contact lens or you lost uh, half a can of butter beans uh, somewhere or you have a missing person, you know someone that's missing or you knew them and now they're gone, but hopefully you'll find them. You know all that time you spent playing your favorite mobile games on your phone? Well, you could have been winning money and prizes. Skills.com turns mobile gaming into cash. S-K-I-L-L-Z.com literally has the greatest games on the planet. And you'll possibly bump into me there. I'm currently hooked on strike bowling. If you like bowling and strikes. 
Skills makes it super easy to get started. They have games for everyone. Classics like Solitaire, Cube, and 21 Blitz. And new fun games like Blackout Bingo. Beginners play beginners. Experts play experts. If you're going to play games, you might as well win cash. It's totally legit. Players have won over $2 billion with a B. New users to skills. Use my promo code Theo because I got you double the cash that you start playing with. That's a promo code T-H-E-O for double the cash. To get started, go to skills, S-K-I-L-L-Z dot com slash Theo. That's S-K-I-L-L-Z with a Z dot com slash T-H-E-O. Must be 18 or older. Terms and conditions apply. Not available in all states. See website for details. If you know me, you know that I have mental health issues and that's who I am. I'm basically a little Gary Busey, son. If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, then I think this episode right here has been really good for you. I also think that you can get help. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. This service is available for clients worldwide. There's a broad range of expertise available which may not be locally available. You may, in some areas, you got to go underground. You got to meet a gnome by a root. You know, and next thing you know, you back behind a Dollar General and somebody's huffing you out, bro. And they said it's for mental health and it's not. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. You know, I was going through a tough time at one point, many points, but this is a specific one. And I pulled my car over on the side of the road and got me some better help. Literally, got on a better help. And within minutes, I was having a FaceTime with my counselor. Visit betterhelp.com slash Theo. That's better help, H-E-L-P. Join over the million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using better help that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and this past week, and listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Theo. And now back to the episode. I feel, I think when I hear about your story, it makes me feel, can I tell you how it makes me feel? It makes me feel, when I hear about your story, it makes me feel like, like I can do things that maybe I'm afraid to do, you know? And it makes me feel like there is a bigger, that there is a bigger purpose in the world um, than just my own purposes. And it makes me feel excited. That's how you make me feel when I hear about your story. Um, So thank you. We are... We bought a couple of shirts earlier today, one for myself and one for my producer, Nick. Can you tell us about the 1% better? Sure. Uh, It's really the concept of working hard um, to be successful and to start small. Um, My advice for kids is that stay small, stay fit. Use positive words, be in the moment, and um, when it's pain, I can tell them that it's fake pain, and I know that they can be I man. Yeah. You're like Martin Luther Chris, man, I feel like. <laughs> um, so golf is next, huh? Yeah. Who should be worried out there? Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, Who's who should be scared? I would say after one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. And my wife would say, yeah. why should I get scared in this golf course? Yeah. I'm like, because you're my wife. Yeah. And when I make her not good size, kiss me. Yeah. Me, kiss me. Yeah. me. Kiss me. We all want love, man. That does, that's that's we it. We want pure love. Yeah, we all do. It's so in- I told her, and she said, <laughs> She said nothing. Yeah. And we kissed. Hey, look, man, that's not a bad... Look, a kiss is a good start. A kiss is a good start. Well, if it dips, 
Hey, on the lips, it's a good place for a kiss, man. <laughs> <laughs> are there any actresses that you see on television that you think are cute? Yeah, I've seen actresses cute. I've seen actresses uh, smoking hot. Which uh, ones? Any show in particular or movie in particular? Yeah. I would say um, L.A. In L.A.? NCIS L.A.? Yeah. Oh, NCIS L.A. Which one? Which one do you like? Yeah, Burnett. Which one? What's her name? Kenzie. Kenzie. Yeah. And then it's what about... freaking Burnett. Yeah. And what about Chicago PD? Huh? Chicago PD. Which one do you like? Haley. Haley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's quite freaking sparkling hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. A lot of beautiful ladies out there. Yeah. Um, she's looking down towards me, saying, <laughs> when you cross the island Hawaii, you got to come up, because I've got a podcast. Yeah. Only woman and man, <laughs> no one knows. No one else, huh? Nope. Just you and her in a podcast, yeah. huh? I like that. That's her and I, babe. <laughs> I love it. Look, she's my woman. <laughs> This is my pure enough, and no one will know. We should go on a double date sometime. Definitely. We'll get two ladies and take them somewhere fun. I. Maybe I'm thinking like, have you ever been to a water park before? I have. Do you like it? Yeah. Maybe we could do a water park or, ooh, go karts. Do you like? Yeah, and I love bumping. Yeah, bumper cars. That would be fun. I love bumping other people. Oh, on the go-karts? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Um, what else could we do on our double date, you think? Where could we go to I eat? I think we should go to a fancy restaurant. It'd yes. be romantic. Yes. Get some candlelight? Yeah. yeah. Candlelight. It's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a couple roses on the table for the yeah. ladies? Yeah. A little bit of champagne? The champagne. Yeah. The scotch. Yeah, a little scotch. Damn, okay. <laughs> Dang, bro. If I have too much scotch, so I'll, 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 I'll have Down syndrome, bro. So, if I have too much, man. So, dancing and so fun kissing. Yeah, finish with some kissing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dad gets nervous when you say it. I no. got you, man. I think it's awesome. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of any other message that you want to leave our listeners with, Chris. Okay. Any, any, any positive message you want to leave our listeners with? Sure. Um... And the message is simple for kids by saying, start training for the Iron Man. Uh, whatever, it's hard, but do it. Whatever your Iron Man is, start training for it, huh? Yeah. Man, well, I just feel so lucky, Chris, that, that you came here today. Can I? Can we be friends from now on? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, cool, man. I want you to meet my friend Terrence Ross, who plays for the Orlando Magic. He will love you. Okay. He's really cool. He's very tall, though. Okay. But you could probably beat him. I would. <laughs> yeah, I think you would. That's cool. That would be a lot of fun. And if I beat him, uh -huh. the torch. Yeah. Then I'd be going to, um, like, if, <laughs> like, if I beat him, i go... To the NBA All Star game. I'm in. I believe that. But if he beats me, mm -hmm. then I'm not going. Okay, okay, good. I like but that. if I beat him, <laughs> you're going. He's gone. I'm you're, going. You're going. Like All right, Chris. Let's close it out with. Um, there's one thing that that's kept him motivated and on task for a year, working hard, and it's his dream. Yeah. Okay, Chris, because you know he keeps referring back to it. So, Chris. Tell him your dream, the one you talk about every day, that you see on your board every day. Tell him your dream and why you work so hard. And first tell me, what is your board? Tell him about your board. So the board has goals. The board has the dreams. The board has other workouts that I'm doing. And where is the board? In my bedroom. So you see it every day? Yeah. And do you have to wake up at a different time each day? Do you like to wake up at the same time? What do you like to do? I usually wake up in the morning and I look at my dream. In a dream, we say, how do I task? 
buy a house, buy a car, maybe smoke a hot blog, be a pro golfer. You have your dreams right there. Yeah. Every day. So you wake up and see your dreams. Yeah. And then you go get them. And I'm kidding to my dad. Dad, you can't make decisions for me. I've got to make my own decision. So please, Dad, give me that right, right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he said, why? You're too young. I'm like, first of all, Dad, I'm not young. Second of all, I'm a man. No reason. If you don't get my woman, I'm moving out. Yeah. And I'll <laughs> get my own woman. You're not moving out. So stop messing with me <laughs> yeah. in my life. But oh that, my that is important, right? You this. remind me of a professional wrestler. <laughs> it's so funny, Chris, because it's so funny the way you talk because I will often just go off and, and tell stories that I like to tell. So it's so funny sitting here with you and, and watching somebody else be do it. It's so <laughs> refreshing to not have to be the one to do it. Um, but I love the idea of having a dream board. I love the idea of seeing your dreams every day. It's so important because otherwise they're just in our heads, you know? It was the single most critical part of his success is seeing his dreams and his goals and his plan every single day there was no getting away from it. And when things got hard, he always went back to his dreams. Wow. And that's where I think most people fall short. They don't have a clear goal, they don't have a clear dream, and they don't have a plan, and then they just wander. With him, he had one goal, Iron Man, November 2020. He had three dreams, his own house, his own car, and smoking hot blonde like his mom. Yeah. And the rest was just, you know, every day 1%. And that's it. That's his whole plan. A big dream, a big goal, and 1% a day. Is that it, Chris? Yeah. And uh, before I go back home, mm -hmm. I'm going to downtown Nashville <laughs> oh, to yeah. have lunch, mm -hmm. and I'm going to grab this fucking hot boy woman. Yeah, oh, look. There's a, lot, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of beautiful women in this city. Yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah. We'll make I'm giving a pretty woman. <laughs> yeah, we'll make it happen. We're all looking for them, man. Um... <laughs> Chris and Nick, uh, Nickich. Nickich. Sorry, it's one of it's those right. names. It's, it's okay. It scares you every time I start it. Um, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your life today. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. This yeah. has been amazing. This is cool, man. This is really inspiring, and uh, and I just feel, I, I honestly just feel grateful to have been in you guys' presence. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Thank you for inviting us and giving Chris this opportunity to share with your fans. It's fun. Chris is a cool guy. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Except he is a cool for the guy. Pre <laughs> you are a cool guy, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. I love being around but you. I'm the most sassy, classical, yeah. and the sexiest guy. I love it. Are you yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the like the most popular sexist. So like I'm the most popist. <laughs> Sexy man on this earth. You don't even know what that means. <laughs> you know what it means. <laughs> but I like your attitude, brother. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You know what it means. Oh, I know a what you mean, sexy baby. Man yeah, yeah. Who wants to be a sexy <laughs> man? Wants to have a sexy woman. We all want it, man. We're all looking. Maybe for he'll it. teach you something. You stop it. Oh, you need somebody. <laughs> you need you like a, maybe you can be like a. Own. Can he be like a big brother and teach you stuff? Yeah. What do you think? You want a big brother who can teach you stuff? Let's connect. We'll connect. You got it, man. We will. We'll connect. Chris, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, man. Now I'm just floating on the breeze And I feel I'm falling like these leaves I must be cornerstone Oh, but when I reach that ground I'll share this peace of mind I found I can feel it in my bones But it's gonna take a little time for me to set that parking brake and let myself all wild shine.